Hi, this is So from Hamilton Realtor Group. In this video, I want to talk about four numbers you want to analyze before you purchase your next rental property. First number is cash flow. Second is appreciation. Third is return on your money. And the fourth is cost, cost to owning the property. So first is cash flow. So let's say you buy a property uh, or let's say you have two properties you consider to purchase and uh, one of them rents thousand dollars or both rents for thousand dollars one is a four hundred dollar mortgage and the other one is five hundred dollar mortgage so everything being equal you know you want to buy the one with four hundred dollar mortgage so that you have six hundred dollars to uh, profit pay expense and such so that's cash flow. Second thing is appreciation. And a lot of times, uh, people who uh, concentrate on cash flow just ignores the appreciation. The appreciation is not something you can easily predict. It's something you cannot touch easily. So just call those people call it just uh, icing on the cake. The reality is, it's. Appreciation is very important because it makes a huge difference. Just as an example, if the rent goes up by 5%, let's say there's a rental property, you rent it for $1,000, rent goes up by 5%, you get $50 extra per month, that's $600 extra per year, which is pretty good. But if the same property, let's say it's uh, valued, uh, its value is hundred thousand dollars and it goes up by uh, five percent that's extra five thousand dollars so if the rent goes up five percent you get six hundred dollar extra but if the house goes up by five percent you get five thousand dollars so it makes a, a big difference so you want to uh, uh, think about it appreciation also it doesn't mean you cannot invest in an area with little appreciation. It does not mean that you should always invest in a, a high appreciation market, but it's one numbers, one of the numbers that you need to consider. Third is uh, cash on cash return, return on your money. So in order to get the highest return on your money, the best way to do it is to buy a property cash I'm sorry that's the opposite uh, in order to get the highest cash flow you want to buy a house with all cash so that you don't have to pay mortgage so you get the highest cash flow but the problem is you get the lowest return on your money so you can't just look at the highest cash flow but you also have to look at the return on your money if you have hundred thousand dollars to invest Instead of buying one house, one hundred thousand dollar house, maybe it's wise to buy four properties, four hundred thousand dollar properties, put in twenty five thousand dollar each, or maybe twenty thousand dollar each with five thousand closing costs and such. If you run the numbers, you get more cash flow as long as the interest is low, and also you're gonna have appreciation from four properties instead of just one property. So the strategy I like is to uh, use leverage. The four no fourth numbers is the cost. Expense, and one, one of, there's two types of expense or cost. One is the money that you have to put into the property. Maybe the property needs a lot of work, Maybe the roof is old, AC is old, furnace might need to be replaced and such. So you have to consider those things before you purchase. Is the house everything fixed up or you have to put a lot of money into it? Another cost is the cost that associated with tenants or residents. Not necessary residents messing up, although that, that could be part of it. But uh, what about the turnover? Are you expecting a lot of turnovers? Or you are expecting tenants to stay for years and years? 
obviously there's a lot of turnovers there's uh, more cost to get the property ready and market it potential vacancies and such it also depending on which states you're investing or which region you're investing maybe the eviction takes months and months instead of uh, weeks and so you have to consider that too that's uh, if you invest in an area with uh, uh, that takes a long time to evict tenants then uh, you have to uh, you're gonna end up uh, have a long vacancy so that's uh, uh, force number that you want to consider I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll uh, see you again sometime thank you for watching